If you're new to Squad Busters, this is the video for you. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know to start building squads and win right away. There will be chapters lining this guide in case you need to skip ahead. Every match in Squad Busters has one main objective, collect the most amount of gems before the four minute timer runs out. Gems can be collected by finding hidden loot around the map, waiting for the gem mine to open, or busting monsters in other squads. When you first download Squad Busters, you will start with a tutorial that walks you through how to move your squad, attack monsters, collect a squad member by opening a chest of three character options, using the turbo button, and how to win a match by collecting gems. But there are some important things besides the movement toggle and turbo button that can be easily overlooked. In the upper left corner of your screen is the player count, which will reduce as squads are busted throughout the match. This way you know whether to fight for more gems or run away to place in the top five. In the middle is the match timer, and in the right corner is the amount of coins you have collected and the price of the next chest. In the lower right side of your screen you will have the turbo button and a transparent star icon which will be your spell slot. Once you unlock the battle bag, a new button will populate above the turbo which we will discuss later in this video. There is a faded chat button near your squad which you can click to use emotes. When you collect enough coins in a match, an icon will populate to show you the location of the nearest chest. When a squad is busted, a gray directional button will populate as well as gem bubble icons to represent nearby enemy squads. This way you know whether you need to run away or check them out to see if you can bust them. And lastly, when the gem mine opens, a directional icon will populate to show you where to go. When you first click play, there will be a list of characters which will appear in chests during the next battle. The ones that are grayed out are the locked characters that you will not be able to select. This is important because character availability changes each time you play, which might change how you build your squads. When you click play again, a random spinner will start to select the map you will play on and the matches modifier. Each player will start at a random chest spawn location and will be offered one free squad member out of the three character options with special abilities. There are currently six different character types that you can add to your squad. All rounders like Barbarian and Shelly serve as both great attackers and defenders. Suppliers like Goblin, Greg, Mavis, Trader and Penny can help you claim gold and gems faster to build your squad or claim the number one spot in a match. Speedsters like Chicken, Hog Rider and Max provide you with much needed turbo boost so you do not have to wait for a turbo recharge. Defenders like El Primo, Nita, Tank and Barbarian King have higher hit points and take the lead of your squad to protect attackers like Colt, Bow, Witch and Archer Queen. And lastly we have the healers like Medic, Pam and Battle Healer who restores the health of your squad throughout the match. After you've chosen your first character, it's time to start building your squad. You will need to collect coins by taking down monsters, destroying crates, and chopping trees to open chests. Each open chest will respawn so you can stay near your initial spawn point and farm coins before running into other squads. As you add characters to your squad, the price for each chest will increase, with the first one being three coins, then five, followed by a five coin increase until the chest price is 30, at which point the price will increase again by 10 coins to a maximum cost of 50. Every chest open after that will cost 50 coins unless you fuse a character. Collecting three of the same character will automatically activate a fusion into one bigger, stronger, and fully healed character. Fusions will reduce the size of your squad, which causes the price of chests to decrease so you can collect different character types to build your squad faster. But be careful about fusing characters too early because an enemy squad could could sneak up on you and bust your solo fusion because they have more numbers. Once you've unlocked the battle bag and squad journey, you will be able to use four different items in a match. Rerolls refresh your choices from a chest opening. Keys will let you open a free chest in battle when you do not have enough coins. Epic keys let you open a free chest that's full of epic characters. And fusion keys open a chest to provide a fully fused character. The battle bag will not be available until one minute has elapsed in a match. And each time you use a key, a cooldown timer will start until you can use the battle bag again. Also, by using a key to add another squad member will increase the chest price to the next level. So try not to use the battle bag when your chest prices are low. You can also collect free chest keys in battle by busting other squads and the largest monster in the match. But keep in mind, these keys will drop just like gold and gems, so try to avoid running away without collecting it because other squads will try to steal it. To succeed in each match of squad busters, you will want to build the biggest and strongest squad to avoid 
avoid getting busted by monsters and other squads. Each of the characters in your squad will have a circle above their heads. The inner blue circle represents their current health, while some characters will have an outer pink ring, which is a special power attack that charges up and flashes when it's ready to be used. Fused characters will be larger in size and will have a star in the middle of the circle. So when you approach an enemy squad, you will need to quickly assess whether your squad is strong enough to fight, or should you run away and continue to farm coins for more squad members. But beware that when a squad member takes damage, their movement speed slows way down, which might cause them to separate from the group and get taken out. When a squad member is eliminated, a small portion of your gems will be dropped and you will either need to recollect them or escape from impending doom. This is why a lot of times much larger squads will attempt to chase you and pick off your squad members one at a time. The turbo button is an incredibly important feature in each match. By holding it while moving, your squad will sprint until it runs out. It will then automatically recharge until you use it again. Also, when fighting a monster or squad, you can use the turbo to make your squad attack faster, but keep in mind that you might need to let it charge up so you can run away in sketchy situations unless you have a speedster like Hog Rider or have collected multiple boost boots. Spells are another great way to attack or defend against other squads by picking them up randomly around the map. When you start Squad Busters, there will be spells that are unlocked by default and you can find your spell collection in the profile section of of the plaza. Only the spells in your collection will populate in a match until you unlock new ones. In battle, these will appear as rotating silver stars with an image of the spell on them. Once collected, you can simply press the option to activate or drag, hold, aim and release where you want to use them. If you do not want to throw the selected spell, drag your finger to the edge of the playing field to cancel it. Spells are unlocked through time limited events that can be found when the wizard visits your plaza. All you have to do to unlock the offered spell is to use spells in battle within the time limit to fill the wizard's number requirement. Or if you have a lot of coins, you could just purchase it for a very high price. When things in the match are not going your way, there is always a chance to open a chest and find a mega unit. Mega units are bigger and stronger than fusions and have unique abilities that can be enough to scare off or take down other squads. Unlike normal characters, mega units are consumable characters that are randomly offered when your squad is in need. If you do not want to use a mega unit when you open the chest, you can skip them to get the usual three options. The current mega units are Chicken Dragon and El Tigre with more options on the way in the upcoming month. Mega units can be found and collected from the season pass. Just like the other Supercell titles, Squad Busters has a season pass option called the Gem Pass, which offers chess, coins, chess reward tickets, and other items for your battle bag. The top rewards track is available to everyone, while the bottom track is only available to players who spend real money to purchase the Super Pass. The gems you earn in a match will fill the rewards track, and once you reach the end, you will unlock the Mega Bank, which will allow you to exchange your gems for an additional Mega Unit until the next season starts. At the end of each match, whether you win or lose, you will get a chest as long as you have chest tickets. The higher your position and the longer your top five streak is, the more bonus opportunities you will get to spin and make your chest better. These chests contain characters and the more upgrade taps you have, the higher your chances are to unlock characters of higher rarity. There are currently three different types of chest, common, rare, and epic. By default, you can only have three chest tickets at a time unless you earn a free one from the gem pass or a special event. When you use one of the three tickets, a three hour timer will begin to restore it with a total requirement of nine hours to restore all of them, or you can choose to use coins to restore them before going into the next match, but keep in mind this will reset the timer. Since the size and rarity of chests to unlock characters are based on your position in a match, it is ideal to maintain a top five streak. By finishing in the top five two matches in a row, you will earn one bonus chest spin to the placement bonus and a golden icon will appear on your profile. Finishing in the top five five matches in a row will add a second bonus chest spin to the placement bonus. At 10 top five finishes, a third bonus chest spin will become available and your streak icon will gain a blue flame. And at 50 top five finishes, the streak icon flame will change to a purple pink flame, but the amount of bonus spins do not increase. So realistically, Basically, you only benefit from a 10 time top five streak unless you want your profile to look really cool, of course. When you finish in sixth place and below, your streak will end, but before you claim your 
chest, you will be offered a chance to restore your streak and bonus chest spins in exchange for coins. That coin price varies depending on how high your streak was. Squad Journey is the main progress track in Squad Busters. In order to progress through it and unlock new worlds, new characters, emotes, and other rewards, you will need to collect Portal Energy. Portal Energy is obtained by completing achievements such as busting different types of monsters, scoring in the top three of different battle mods, using spells, and evolving your characters. Every character in Squad Busters starts out as a baby and then evolves into a classic, super, and ultra form. Evolving a character will require the collection of 10 copies of the previous form which come from chests. To unlock the classic form of a character, you will need to collect 10 babies. Then to unlock the super form of that character, you will need 10 classic forms. Classics and supers can also drop from chests if you're lucky enough. To maintain a fair experience for players, all characters in Squad Busters have a base set of stats that apply to damage per second and hit points that do not change unless they are fused. Each time you evolve a character, a new unique ability is unlocked, their appearance changes, and you gain portal energy to progress in squad journey. Let's use Greg as an example to show the evolution process. His baby form takes five hits to chop a tree. When you fuse three baby Gregs, it takes two hits to chop the tree. When evolved, his common form gains the ability chops trees much faster, which reduces one common Greg down to three hits for that same tree. When three common Gregs are fused, he can chop a tree with one hit and then Super Greg gains the ability for trees to drop more loot. You can also collect baby characters by opening the free chest in the plaza each day, collecting the freebie option, or spending gold in the shop. Also, if you'd like to try out a new character before going into a live match, you can click details in their profile and click the target button to enter the training mode. There are currently four worlds available in Squad Busters, Green, Desert, Royal, and Beach, with a new one coming in June called Ice World. Each world has multiple maps with a common shape. In the middle is where you will find the gem mine or gem bosses like Tree Giant. Around the outside of the map center branches into different sections that all have chest spawn points, trees, and boxes. All of these sections normally have broken bridges between them so you can clear the monsters to break the bridges. This way you can farm up squad members before proceeding to the center of the map. As mentioned earlier, each match is four minutes long. At the two minute mark, vines will begin to grow, destroying everything in their path to collapse the outer branches of the map to force players to the center. You can walk into lighter colored vines with your squad, but you will start to take damage. As you unlock new worlds, you will also unlock new character items options, some of which can be collected from Squad Journey, finding them in chests, or by purchasing them from the shop. Each world has a unique theme, monsters, and challenges which might alter your style of gameplay depending on which world you're in. All of the current worlds also come with a new set of modifiers. As mentioned earlier, each match played starts with a different map and modifier assignment. Sometimes you may even roll two different modifiers for the same match. Think of modifiers as changing the rules of the game, making each match feel different from the last. Understanding what modifier you're playing in is incredibly important for how you build your squad and the choices you make as you attempt to win the match. Some mods flood the map with loot like Loot Goblin Rush and Pinata Party, at which point you might not want a farmer like Greg to chop trees, but instead choose Colt so you can shoot and collect loot faster. Mods like Double Trouble may alter how you build your squad since you'll be pulling two of the same character from a chest at a higher price, but enabling you to fuse characters much faster than normal. Tree Giants and Whack-A-Mole spawn giant bosses in the center of the map that drop massive amounts of Gems. So you will want to build a strong squad fast and attempt to take those down to come in first place. Doppelgangers means that each time you collect a character from a chest, your entire squad changes to that character. This is where characters like Witch can thrive since she generates skeletons for protection. And in Royal Haunt, beware of the Royal Ghost. When you start a match, there will be a ghost nearby that will attack you. Simply take it down and it will fight for you. In this mod, if you collect a horde of Royal Ghosts, you can use them as tanks to bust other squads. Squads. And then the plaza is your place to rest and take a break where you can hang out with all of your unlocked characters. Once you unlock plaza upgrades in Squad Journey, you can start customizing it by finding hammers and matches to build decorations and statues of your favorite characters and monsters from the squad world. Each day you log in, there will be a free chest available that will give you some baby characters or free items. Also keep an eye out for characters that are sparkling because you can click them for some free coins. Then there's the weekly challenges that you can complete for additional 
free coins and active special events, sort of like the recent Pinata Festival. Coins in Squad Busters is the premium currency, similar to how gems are in the other Supercell titles. So you can use those in the shop to purchase additional baby characters, but I feel like the best value for coins in this game is refilling the reward chest tickets before going into a match when you have a 10 or more top five streak. I really hope this video helps you get started with Squad Busters and winning right away. Consider checking out this video recommended by YouTube and we'll see you in the next one.